Hey, 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 guys. We are here at Quanchkin Lake for the next leg of this mission, mission four. And we are starting off, looks like, in the upside down area. I didn't see a whole lot going on here. I think we might take a look at some of the other areas. Luckily, it looks like we're going right into the peak, which is good. And I think the big trick is going to be a matter of finding where the largemouth bass are. Now, I'll probably start off here, test it a few times, and then move on to the next location. If we don't catch anything, we'll just, you know, make it the best we can here. Let's see here. Uh, might just try over here and see what happens. Yeah, this popper, if there's a bass there, we'll get it. Oh, wow. That was quick. But it's not a bass. <laughs> it's a chain pickerel. Still, honestly would not have known they go for that. That's honest. That is great to know for future, future reference. The chain pickerel, and I would imagine the pike go after this as well. Got it. This is a great lure, guys. Can't wait to test it other places. All right, we came over to the right side a little bit. It looks like we got something here. Well, hmm. It's not a largemouth. It's a trophy spotted bass. I'm not complaining. I mean, I like getting trophies. But so far, I've checked two different places. This is a kind of a cool little structure here. It looks like it's a little hut where they're drying out tobacco. Yeah, if you uh, do some exploring, apparently, whoops, apparently you can get some kind of cash prize or whatever. But let's go ahead and fire off the cannon. No, we already did that. That's right. That sounds like Snoopy's coming over. <laughs> Yeah, I can't exactly remember where I had caught the largemouth bass the last time I was here. That was a long time ago, but I think... Ah, let me see, where was it? I think it might have been one of these three. Let's try this one to start off with. Maybe. I know this is where I caught the alligator gar. Let's see what the largemouth bass are doing here. Or if they're even here. Because I forgot that Quanchkin Lake had the spotted bass too. So, But if they're here, they will go for this lure without a doubt. I'm trying to determine whether or not doing it with three notches or two is better. So far, I really haven't noticed a whole lot of difference. Well, might actually make it through this without getting th anything. Nope. <laughs> Nope, it is still... Oh, guys, this might be him. This might be it. Oh, boy, yes. Yes, it is a, lar it is a largemouth bass. Now, whether it's a historic... And it is. Here they are. We found them. At least one spot for them. Now, if this keeps... Get a picture this keeps with the current pattern this popper should get us these five largemouth historic 
largemouth bass fairly quickly. Yeah, in the last episode I ended after I caught the peacock bass, but I actually stayed considerably longer. I filled my net with largemouth bass, and I just literally was catching trophy after trophy after trophy. Yeah, see what I mean? The bass love this lure. And I think it's a permanent lure that's in the uh, store, if I'm not mistaken. If not, maybe I need to go buy a few more. I don't know. But they are awesome. I am going to have to get some of the other poppers and give them a try just to see how well they do. Well, this is not a small fella. Jeez. Okay, now this is giving me a fight. I don't know if it's a historic or if it's a... Could be a unique. They are uniques in here. No, it's a historic, just a really large one. God, he's a monster. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? 1796. Go ahead and get a good picture of him full length this time. Now that is a bass, guys. Alright, let's see if we can get us another one here real quick. We've only got two of the five. So there's still work to be done. Well, maybe not take as long as I thought. There's, I think that's another one. That's, you know... I told you. I told you this lure is something. I mean, it really amazed me. I have tried all kinds of lures for bass, and this one is just amazing. I don't have an unlimited license here. I do for most of the other lakes, the American lakes, that is. But I don't have one for this one. I don't have one for... Uh, San, was it Quaint? I can't remember the, the one in California. <laughs> and the, uh, Canique Creek and White Moose. Those are the only ones I don't have it for the United States ones. And those are the most pricey ones, unfortunately. But, very nice. I could come here, even though it cost a bit to spend fill up a good size net with these guys and easily still make quite a bit of money and even more if we go to the Everglades probably because the Everglades doesn't cost as much to travel and I have an unlimited license there Might have to see that, see about that sometimes. See which one I can make more money in a day's time. But sure didn't take long to get these guys. That's for damn sure. Number four is already in the works. remember just how big the uh, uniques were but I think they're a little bigger than that I think these are somewhere in the trophy size range maybe I, I honestly don't remember all 
Alright, they seem to have slowed down just a little bit, so I think it's time that we fish at a different location. Things get a little slow. Move a, move a little, move around a little bit. Easy for me to say. <laughs> okay. There we go. Well, shoot. That was a bite. I'm sorry. That something went after it, but didn't quite get it. There we go. There we go. We got something now. I think we've got our fish. This will be the last one for this leg of it. Then we go to St. Croix. Try to get the historic white bass, which are going to be kind of tricky to get, but luckily we only have to get three of them. They're not as prolific, and there's a lot more species there than there are here. And there we go. Another historic. And that's another leg of this situation taken care of. Yeah, unfortunately the canoe is also here. And that, I don't know if you can see it across there, but yeah, it's here. And... That means I have to go all the way to St. Croix, catch the white bass there, and then I have to come back here, which really sucks. So, I think I might fish here a little longer, guys, and then we'll jump over there as soon as we can. Alright, guys, we are here in, I think it's St. Croix Lake. I'm never I'm absolutely sure how you pronounce it. But it just so happens that I do know a great place to catch the white bass. I wish I'd come here before because basically I lost the money that I used to travel. I should have come here first and then went to the other one. But, eh, you know, things happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to be going right over here to From Dawn to Dusk. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the private room. We're going to get in here and we're going to see if we can't catch these guys. Then we gotta go back to Quanchkin, and that's gonna pretty much wipe out most of our money. Uh, I wish that was money I was getting. Okay, let me see here. So we are going into a peak, which is good, and we need the Glory Grub two and a half to catch these guys. So we need to switch it up. Glory Grub, huh? Let's see, where is that sucker? right here so we need at least a two odd or four odd hook okay let's see here's a two odd at a half ounce so we can fit that right on here yeah these aren't super super big so we're gonna go ahead and use the jig winner with this one now Looks like we've already got, this is probably a good sign that this is the right location. Maybe I can get one of the, rid of one of these cannonballs. Damn, I never get anything. <laughs> I never, ever get anything. But anyway, yeah, right here, right out there is a good spot for these guys. And I'm hoping that it still is. I haven't been here in a long, long time, guys. This is just at least a more more than a year. Most of these uh, fisheries I haven't been to in probably more than a year. But we gotta catch how many of these guys? Three. Okay. Seems like the stop and go has been doing very well for me. I hate when it freezes like that. Damn, I 
thought I had something into it. There we go. Yeah, Smallmouth bass. Let's try a little further over here. Hoping maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Of course, it could be another smallmouth, and I think it might be. Oh, it's a tiger trout. <laughs> that was not expected. I'll be darned. Haven't seen one of those in a long time either. Well, they used to be over here. Alright, let's try over here. Let's try a twitch this time. Let her sink down a little bit, maybe. Damn, it's deep. Pretty quick, too. Just gotta get three of these guys. I think there's a reason why it's only three, not five. Probably means it's a lot harder to find them amidst all the other species. There's a lot of them in here, too. Finally, there he is. I knew they were over here. It was just a matter of figuring out where they were. Well, I already knew where they were. That's one. So we got to shoot for closer to the boat, apparently. I've got them in as close as right off that uh, pier or whatever you want to call it, but he bit way over there. Yeah, they got something, but I don't think it's historic. Not quite strong enough. Yeah, those historic fish, I don't care what they are, crappie or otherwise, they have quite the tug. Yeah, there's also a lot of freshwater drum over there, too, so... Ooh, I think I got a... Nope, I got an American Shad. Yeah, I forgot about them being here too. A lot of species. A lot of species here. Alright, let me go to the map here. I want to check the sea. Where it was that I... Okay, so there's a deep hole there. So I think what I might do... That was the last fish. So right around in there, I, th I wish I'd done it for the last one. That was probably dumb not to have done. Oh well.
There we go. See, the thing is, though, it's hard to tell what it is because everything I'm catching over here is pretty good size. Oh, is it? Is it? Mm, yes. That's number two. One more, guys. One more. Caught him twitching, so I'm going to try that again. Oh, wow. He hit pretty hard. Let's see. Is this going to again be anything? I think it's a freshwater drum. Nope. Smallmouth bass. Yeah, sometimes if it's sinking, if you just lift like that, that'll help too. All right, let's try it again. Now I've caught something about every time I put it out here, so got plenty of action. I think it's another small mouth. Yeah. pretty quick that time. I figured if I didn't let it sink I probably wouldn't get a freshwater drum out that far. It's a little more silver color which means it might be... no I think it's a shed. It is. Dang on it. This is tricky, guys. Whoa, okay, he hit hard. That could be a small mouth as hard as he hit. Yeah, I don't think the white bass don't usually hit that hard. Well, at least I'm getting cash, and I'm going to need it to get back to Quanchkin. But if I complete this whole thing, I should get everything I've lost. Trophy American Shad, huh? Hmm. 
Okay, maybe we need to let it sink a little more, because it seems like we're just getting them now. They must be near the surface. That's note to self. Twitching near the surface. American Shad. Might want to remember that. Could come in handy. Never know. There's lots of competitions with shad, so might help you out. New personal record for the tire trout. Alright, we're going to switch blurring techniques. We've been doing jigging and maybe we need to switch over to stop and go or lift and drop. Well, lift and drop is very close to twitching, so we'll keep it stop and go. Sometimes mixing those things up will increase your odds. Or maybe it's just my nuts nature. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining it's superstition. Okay, there's something. I don't think it's very big. Well, maybe, maybe it is. <laughs> He kind of surprised me here at the end. I think it's it, guys. That's it. We got him. Whew. Well, I was right. Switching things around since seems to make a difference. Yeah, that I need. As I had run out of... So I gotta go back to Quanchkin because I already knew that. So, here's the thing. Well, I did get some epic rockets. Yeah, it's over here. There's so many of these. I'm almost certain it is. I could be wrong. No, there it is. There it is. No boats here, so we got to do this the old-fashioned way. Now, every time I've got it before, I have aimed right for the base of the canoe well that's not exactly what I was trying to do caught a fish. <laughs> I'm trying to catch a relic chest. I wonder what I've got. <laughs> I was just curious. What did I catch? Well, he went after it pretty quick, whatever it was. Ah, a bass. Smart a bass. So it's kind of hard to judge just where that is. I think we're going to take it up to full speed so we don't catch anything. Okay, please let this be it. It might be it, guys. This might be it. This might be it. This could also be a tree branch or a piece of pond weed or hornwort or... A rag or a bag or... Nah. We got it. There we go. That's number four. Number four. And we 
we got four more gold and the fourth. So this next one I could get twelve hundred dollars cash. So I gotta go to Mudwater, Quanchkin, St. Croix. Oh my god. Kanique Creek. Oh shoot, it's getting harder and harder. Kanique Creek is not cheap. And I don't have an unlimited license there. Oh boy. Well, guess we gotta do what we gotta do. On the mud water. So we gotta catch historic grass pickerel. That's probably a mud, mud water. Historic chain pickerel. Historic musky. And historic steelhead trout. Hmm. Let me check that again. That was I thought they had listed like five of them. So maybe we don't have to go to all five. Let's see. Oh god. I didn't see the Chinook salmon. So we gotta go to St. Croix. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so expensive. Well, we can try it. I don't know that we can do it, guys. Times are running out. But we'll get as far as we can get. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that last episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And if we can't finish this, well, guys, you know, we gave it. An honest try. Maybe next year we'll have more time. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. Bye-bye.